construction contributed $29.7 billion to Queensland's economy last financial year, employing on average more than 262,000 people. And with 1.7 million more people expected to call Queensland home by 2041, demand for construction will continue. But what if the products used to build our future homes, roads, bridges, shops, hospitals and schools were low carbon? We're building the new theatre for the Queensland Performing Arts Centre. So we're decarbonising the construction process here through the utilisation of electric cranes and hoists, removing the need for fossil fuel use. It's important to decarbonise the construction process as we have a huge impact on the greenhouse gas emissions globally. Almost 40% of the greenhouse gas emissions globally is through the built environment. Breaking that down further, 28% of emissions is through operation of existing buildings and around 11% of that is the construction of new buildings and refurbishments. The new performing arts venue is on track for a four star green star rating which represents the delivery of the best practice environmentally sustainable building. When completed, the venue will include computerised building management systems and energy efficient electrical and mechanical systems to minimise and control energy usage. In Brisbane, one of Australia's first net zero emissions residential precincts is under construction. I'm here at Kalsheim Village, which is a five star green star community. What's really cool about Kalsheim Village is it's got 182 net zero energy emission homes. That means that they produce more energy than they consume. So each home with its solar and battery package produces about 122% of the energy that they need. So most of the time they're self-sufficient. So they're, you know, they're on the grid, but off the grid. This is great for the planet. It's also good in terms of electricity costs for the people who live in the homes. Businesses in the industry are already looking at ways to reduce their embodied carbons, the stuff that's in the materials used in buildings and infrastructure. So decarbonisation of construction means we need to address our three different scopes of emissions. Scope one is about reducing the fuels that we use. Scope two is about undertaking using renewable electricity and reducing our electricity from grid. Scope three is about the impact of the embodied emissions of the materials that we actually have manufactured and produced and brought to site. Reducing carbon requires us to look differently around the kinds of products and services that are delivered on projects. It's not just construction materials under the microscope. At Caboolture Hospital, just outside Brisbane, a revolutionary biofuel trial is also helping to lower carbon emissions. At the Caboolture Hospital site, they're building a modern health facility using biodiesel as part of the construction process. So the biodiesel is produced locally and brought on site and used in generators. Uh, those generators produce electricity and the electricity powers the cranes, hoists and lighting that are used as part of the construction process. The biodiesel used here is made from used cooking oil and tallow, which are wastes from Brisbane. A clean approach to construction will lead to more jobs and lower operating costs over time.